Hello. I'm going to attempt to keep this as least schizophrenic as possible, um, but just know that I'm doing my best and I might not succeed. You can only do so much. A good friend of mine sent me this clip earlier. It's just a grotesque postmodern psyop and anyone who's fallen for this is brain damaged. And while I know that it is an edit, when I hear the phrase postmodern psyop, my ears tend to perk up a little bit. And since you're watching this, I apparently at some point decided that I was already in too deep and made this video. So here we are. Many of you know of this chick, Lou Han or uh, Lou John or I don't know, basically an e-girl who got popular for posting TikToks in uniform, followed by people who half jokingly and the other half do believe that this is some form of recruiting tool or psychological operation to help spur people to enlist or something. And this is added with the fact that she posts herself as a psychiatrist, more as a joke, but not as a joke, is actually in the PSYOPs army tribe. And has basically made this joke of her being a government PSYOP, her whole thing, and really just ran with it. Referencing the fact that she's also a glowy, for those of you who do not know, is a government agent pretending to be someone else or a normal person, typically with the purpose of infiltrating or incriminating uh, civilian populations. Now you know. So is she a psyop? Honestly, dude, I, I don't know, but that's what we're here to talk about. Here's the thing. Do I think she is some lab created psyop in order to get people to enlist eh, not really not impossible but not really but uh, there is definitely something going on here and this isn't like conspiracy theory talk i'm not gonna go into that realm but there is actually something i think going on here which is worth talking about but before i do that i would like to submit my own application to break a glass ceiling and be the army's first e-boy and i really need to speed this up because I only have like a few more years of being in my 20s and I'm pretty sure you can't be it once you hit 30. I don't think they have waivers for that. So the following is my resume. Predominantly black clothes, check. Tattoos, check. Tattoos that are crying, double check. Neon lights in my house, check. Esoteric music taste, check. Such an esoteric music taste that I made a playlist on Spotify. I want to play at a party, but I'm too self-aware that everyone else should probably not want to hear it, check. Mental illness. So if there's any 37 series that would, uh, you know, that are watching this, please accept my application. Um, I promise I would do a good job. My email is in my channel description. So jokes aside, is this a person that is being used by the army uh, on social media to influence people to act a certain way? I think so. I think there's a good chance of that and here's why. So first of all, if you look at her profile, you see her doing a lot of things, specifically things with other kinds of army units while not in uniform that generally you would not be able to do without some higher people pulling the strings. Like if I was to take my guys to a range, and some Instagram influencer came and wanted to get in on the action, I would tell them to kick rocks. Unless that person came with a public affairs representative that outranked me and told me that they needed to be in the range or if it was all just planned from the beginning for them to be there and do the thing. Here's a video of her running on a flight line in civilian clothes, then is flying around an Apache simulator all while not in uniform. And when asked very directly how she's able to do this, her response was your local recruiter. Hmm. Now, is there a chance that someone just messaged her and said, hey, why don't you just come down, run to the flight line and have some fun at the simulators? That's entirely plausible. I could have probably gotten away with doing that with my Bradley simulators. And a few times I would bring my other army friends to check out the Bradleys in the motor pool if they were visiting from other units. That's not completely out of the picture. But if you look at the other stuff, it does kind of get a little funky. Here's a video of her and a couple other people at a live fire range firing the old Mossberg 500, AKA the coolest way to open a door. And if you read the description, it says, while the troops of the 101st Air born we're conducting routine training at one of fort campbell's many ranges we popped in to shoot our shot and join in on the fun shout out to my handlers for programming my software with some decent marksmanship technology now here's the thing you don't just pop in on a range you can't just like go up to one and do whatever you want to do especially if there are people training there already and especially with two other people that are not in the military anymore they are also military influencers might i add so this was obviously something put on by big army or at least the 101st airborne to promote Something. I, 
I don't really know. Some energy drink was a part of it. That's fine, I guess. But the army still had to like approve all this stuff. It had to go up through all the channels. This isn't just like giving your homeboy the hookup and letting him on the range when he wants to. Plus the description reeks of just sanitized PAO talk. Like why the need to say one of our many ranges as if they were like advertising some kind of luxury apartment complex. Spend your time off at one of our many small arms ranges where you too can barely shoot a 23 out of 40 only to blame it on the targets being broken. And here's her again doing primer shots and behind a triple seven. Probably the same event as the last one because the clothes are the same. It's the same people around. The description is again sanitized. In the comments you have Echelon just posting cringe like come on dude you, you do better that. Now, I don't think this is a PSYOP, but I think it's a combination of other things. And of course, I'm pretty sure I'm like 51% wrong on this. So there is this thing in the army called an FA-58, Functional Area 58, a relatively new job within the army. And if you look at their official army website, you see that the job is listed as the Enterprise Marketing and Behavioral Economics Career Field with the hopes of attracting well-qualified active duty army officers with skills related to marketing strategy, content creation, content delivery, and marketing marketing analytics. Basically, it is a big think tank organic to the army to help leverage social media to get people to do stuff, pretty much, specifically enlisting. I actually posted a question about FA-58 on the army subreddit, and after a series of comments just telling me to go fuck myself, I got a very lengthy PM from someone who is actually an FA-58. And in short, it talks about, in his words, might I add, to analyze the consumer journey of a new recruit, asking what has influence and how slash why does information influence someone, and how does content on non-army funded websites like Instagram or Reddit influence people's decision to join the army. Now, if you're not aware, the Army is having a massive recruiting crisis at the moment, and it's a good chance that these FA-58 peeps are very popular up at the Pentagon right now because they're the ones that are really trying to tackle this question from, you know, a grassroots organic level. It's pretty obvious that they would be the ones who would know how social media and these influencers have a sway on how people perceive the military. To add to this, the Army has started pulling these influencers in for, like, meetings and stuff so that they can kind of get their opinion on how to leverage this asset or how to mass effects to put it into army speak. No one really cares about army commercial, trust me, but people are influenced by social media and that will change their perception on things. Memes can be really powerful and I cannot believe I just said that unironically. Also, just like the PsyOps guy, I'll throw another offer. If you're an FA-58 personnel, and are interested in funding my YouTube and Instagram channel. Again, my email is in the channel description. Very easy to work with and I always respond quickly. Here's the thing though, the Army PsyOps, like the actual Army PsyOps works in a very restricted area. By that, I mean they have to deal with things called permissions and authorities and their funding is controlled directly by Congress with a lot of congressional oversight. One of the stipulations that comes with this discretion of funding is that they cannot be used in domestic purposes, meaning they can't do anything that would affect the American population. And I know like people want to get all tinfoily hat about this, but ask any actual PSYOPs member and they will tell you they barely are allowed to have funding to print out flyers to hand out to people in third world countries telling them not to drink still water that'll get them sick. They even got in trouble for making a video just for themselves. Now, the idea that this could be a PSYOP depends on your definition of it because all of this is really just working in the background. It's all behind the scenes. The army is obviously having some kind of role in her being able to do all this stuff and create content but no one is admitting it, which is a little weird. And it's worth digging into as more things come out. Her profile even says not endorsed by the DOD, but she's still having to go through DOD channels to get all this approved. See, the army is recognizing that these influencers have an actual impact on just a normal civilian population. And I do know for a fact they're starting to integrate them with PAO or public affairs groups, giving them special assignments, allowing them access to cool things like artillery and helicopters and ranges in order to create content for their own stuff. Is giving them access to artillery batteries and shotgun ranges and PSYOP, maybe in the most liberal sense of the word. But I will say the army doing all this more backdoor is a little psyopsy, basically giving them a very high level of plausible deniability with all this stuff. For whatever reason, it could be viewed as less cool if they were just some special person endorsed by the DOD and not just some organically cool person that just 
walks around doing all these cool stuff in their day-to-day -day lives. I don't think we have yet entered the realm that there are soldiers that are only influencers, like they would have some fake job on paper, uh, but in reality, their whole purpose in the army is just to create content that seems organic in order to influence people to enlist in the military. But I also don't think we're that far off from that either. So is this person a PSYOP? Not really at the level that they claim to be, both jokingly and maybe literally. Maybe I'm the real PSYOP here. Actually, no, if I was if I was the real PSYOP, my channel would have a lot more subscribers by now, and I probably wouldn't have to pay for my own camera. Anyway, if you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think about this kind of thing, and I will see you in the next video.